everybody, it's Linda. Thanks for coming back today. I love seeing you here every day. I wanted to talk to you about something. Well, actually, I was going to ask you if you've ever heard the term an emotional facelift. An emotional facelift. Let me explain. Yesterday, I had the privilege of meeting with some relatives that I have not seen for a year. <clears throat> and we were all close. You know what happens with family and relatives. They move away and we all get busy and life happens and we don't get to see each other. And it was so much fun. We all had dinner and and we got together and it was just um, endless conversation and all of a sudden hours go by. But there was one thing that I noticed and that was one of the individuals seemed to be carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders. They never came out and say it, said it, excuse me, but there was something, something heavy that seemed to be going on. <clears throat> and later when we got to divide up a little bit and, and talk privately, I asked if everything was okay. And apparently I opened a can of worms and they were in fact carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders. What does that do to you when you do that? Well, when you're carrying around old scars, old emotional scars, I'm not talking about physical appearances as far as scars go, but when you're carrying about old hurts, old emotional scars, dings, um, things that have happened and you built up a little grudge against them, um, you just can't shake it off and you it's in the back of your mind all of the time. What happens to you physically because of your emotional scars is you start looking like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. You walk kind of slumped over, your wrinkles start appearing, um, you can you can tell that uh, you're just not as happy-go-lucky as you used to. And yes, I know, there's those of you out there are going to say, Linda, get real. Everybody's got problems and, and life happens. Yes, I know. I do know that. But I also know that if you don't deal with it properly, it's going to bring you down even lower. And all of a sudden, you're going to be aging and aging and aging. And let me show, let me tell you why. When you're able to come to peace with life, come to peace with what's happened to you in the past or things that have happened and, and you really can't do anything about it, maybe it was bad luck, maybe it was meant to be that way, whatever the issue was, you need to be at peace about it. You need to come to peace about it and let it go. Because here's what happens when you do let those kind of things go emotionally, and that means emotionally, when you let it go from your heart, what happens is it's a wonderful freeing that you have. You suddenly are starting to stand up straighter. You're starting to look five to ten years younger. I promise you, and I'm speaking from a medical professional now, this does happen. You start to look five to ten years younger. You're standing straighter. Your spirits are just have taken a whole 180. Your outlook on things is so much better. It's so much, you don't have to be happy, happy, happy all the time. You just need to get that weight off your shoulders. That's all you need to do. It's going to help you live a lot longer, and it's going to help you be able to handle things that are coming to you on a daily basis now much better. So think about that. That's what I'm calling the, um, uh, actually, I saw that in a book, the, um, uh, what did I say, emotional facelift, because we use that in the medical field, and there was a doctor in a book who wrote a book, rather, who also used the same term, so I know it's a universal term in the medical field. So give yourself an emotional facelift. Try it. Think about what's really bothering you and let it go. Be at peace with life. Stand up straighter. 
Get your outlook on things in a much more positive way. Quit dwelling on the past and be grateful for every day. That's my little piece of facelift for you today. All right? Think about that today. I want you to start that. When you walk by people, remember, I want you to smile and say hello to them. It's going to make their day, and I promise you it's going to make yours too. Thank you, everybody. That's it for me today, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.